Jada Pinkett G.I. Jane Smith never wanted to marry Will and cried at the horrible wedding. So let's get into the story and we're going to talk about this because marriage does deal with finances quite a bit and to be frank the whole slap situation is horrendous but let's get right into it. Jada Jada Pinkett Smith confessed that she really didn't want to get married to Will Smith. In fact, the Matrix actress, now on the roasting spit of Smith's infamous Oscars smackdown of Chris Rock, and the Academy's decision Friday to ban him from the ceremony for 10 years, admitted to crying down the freaking aisle before tying the knot with the French Prince of Bel Air star on New Year's Eve in 1997. I was under so much pressure, you know, being a young actress, being young, and was just like pregnant, and I just didn't know what to do, declared Pinkett Smith, 50, in a freshly exhumed snippet from her Red Table Talk Facebook series, I Never Wanted to Be Married. And I gotta say, this show, The Red Table Talk, has done so much collateral damage to the Smith family. Like, it's so depressing. So in the clip from 2018, which has resurfaced amid renewed controversy around her loose entanglement with R&B singer August Asina, 29, Pinkett Smith candidly recalls her mother, Adrian Banfield Norris, also known as Gammy, 68, forcing her and Smith to wed after she became pregnant with their first son, together, Jaden, now 23. I really didn't want to get married, Pinkett Smith restated while seated around the circular table with her mom, as well as Smith, 53, and their daughter, Willow. 21. And here's the thing, right? As an adult, you have complete and other control over your decisions regardless of what your parents may say, right? So when she was a young actress, right? She was an adult and she could have done whatever she is, like whatever she wanted to do. She could have done whatever she wanted to do, period, you know? Let's see. We only got married because Gammy was crying, a chuckling Smith informed Willow. It was almost as if Gammy was like, you have to get married, so let's talk about the wedding, said Pinkett Smith, prompting Banfield Norris to confess, I remember feeling very strongly and wanting you guys to be married. The girl's trip star's mother was just 18 when she became pregnant with Pinkett Smith and briefly married her father, Rob Saul Pinkett Jr. I do remember wanting you and Will to get married, but I don't remember your rejection of the idea of marriage, Banfield Norris added. I remember the rejection of the idea of a wedding, but not of a marriage. And Pinky Smith then recalled being browbeaten into big day submission. And now Gammy done gone to Will, crying about, I don't want a wedding, and now I'm being forced to have a wedding, she said. I just wanted it to be the two of us on a mountain because I was like, this is serious business. Jada and Will married at the Gothic-style Cloisters Castle in the suburb of her hometown, Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland, and despite their picturesque venue, Pinkett Smith and her mom both acknowledged that it was less than stellar. The wedding was horrible. Ben Norris conceded it was a mess. Jada was sick. She was very unpleasant. She didn't cooperate with anything. Laughing, Pinkett Smith agreed, saying, and I was so upset that I had to have a wedding I was so pissed I went crying down the freaking aisle, I cried the whole way down the aisle. Conversely, Smith, who in March earned his first Oscar for 
a masterful portrayal of Venus and Serena Williams' father, Richard Williams, 80, in the feature film King Richard, was positively giddy on their wedding day. There wasn't a day in my life that I wanted anything other than being married and having a family, he said during the episode. From literally five years old, I was picturing what my family would be. I don't know, Will. Were you picturing that, you know, your future wife would be, uh, hooking up with her son's friends, would be, you know, letting other guys hook up with her other than you? Was that something that you were picturing? Because it's kind of sad. Pinga Smith's visceral aversion to the nuptials, notwithstanding, she and Smith ultimately agreed that getting hitched was, in fact, the right call. And Banfield Norris apologized for failing to respect her daughter's protest about a wedding and for being selfish by insisting on a lavish ceremony owing to the fact that Pinga Smith is her only child. Now, here's the thing that I do agree with, right? In this type of situation as when it basically happened, right, with these two individuals, there probably wasn't really much point necessarily for, like, a lavish wedding. You could have just gotten married at the court, been married on paper, and just basically lived your lives right from there as a married couple, right? And then if you wanted to do some sort of marriage ceremony later, you could have. I, I do agree that the best the best scenario at that moment was probably them getting married to take care of their kid, right? I do agree that that was probably the right decision. That being said, if anything were happening in the marriage that they couldn't necessarily deal with anymore, then they could have a serious discussion and sit down and be like, hey, what are we doing here? I don't feel okay about that. You don't feel okay about that. And we can't budge at all. Let's part ways, right? Like right now, I think they probably should get a divorce because I don't think it's mentally healthy for Will Smith at this point. So the reemerged red table talk tape comes on the heels of more excavated footage from the couple's rocky recent past. Per a 2019 Instagram Live clip, a seemingly annoyed Smith reprimanded his wife for broadcasting him on social media without his prior consent. Don't just start filming me without asking me, said Smith in response to Pinka Smith, showing his face on camera while asking, Would you say therapist Esther Perel has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? And when the actress dismissed her husband's upset as foolishness, Smith retorted, My social media presence is my bread and butter, so you can't just use me for social media. Don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just, oh, don't start rolling. So far, neither Will nor Jada Pinkett Smith has publicly commented on the resurfaced videos. And a lot of people are thinking that one, or if not both their teams are basically releasing these types of videos to try to make the other one look worse or better, try to like change the whole like narrative about this. Who knows, maybe one of them has something to promote that they're trying to get out there and they're working together along this. You never know, right? But the main thing is, in terms of like the mental health aspect, I think Will Smith needs to leave her right now, right? Because honestly, I don't think that he's safe. Right, mentally speaking, I don't think he's safe. Perhaps even physically speaking, he's probably not even safe. And the reason why I say that, for him to mentally break the way that he did over Chris Rock's joke, which wasn't that much of a joke, and the way that he keeps basically getting belittled by her, it looks like a very abusive relationship, right? And not only that, I would not be surprised based off how she interacts with him, how he, or how she speaks about him to other people, and how she ends up basically just going with other guys leads me to believe that she probably has laid hands on Smith multiple times. 
and he knows that he wouldn't be able to do anything to protect himself because obviously he's a guy. So I'm really worried for like Will Smith's actual like safety because who knows what she's potentially capable of. So let's get right into this comment section. If she was knocked up and pressured into getting married while experiencing morning sickness during her nuptial ceremony, then why did she continue popping out more puppies? It really irks me these privileged ultra-rich think us mere mortals even care. After 50 plus years of marriage, one thing I know for sure is that life isn't a bowl of cherries. I never wanted to be with anyone else. My wife nursed me back to life after I returned injured from Vietnam. Oh, that's pretty nice. She put up with my moodiness and self-isolation early on, never once raising her voice to me or displaying any signs of wanting anyone else but me as opposed to Jada Smith deciding to take a break from marriage and having affairs with much younger men, I'm now on borrowed time, and I never take my better half for granted. Nice. You and your wife got a good one. Thanks for your service. God bless. I agree. So Will Smith had better get ready for a divorce, whatever reasons Jada had for remaining married, even if reduced to an open relationship, are probably gone now or will be seen. By the way... Ex Prince Harry should take a no. That may also be his fate. If when ex Princess Meghan decides she doesn't need her marriage to him anymore, as is usually the case with self absorbed users. Yeah. Will Smith still owes childhood friendly Ready Rock C two point six million in unpaid royalties. The four year statute was up when RRC tried to sue. Therefore, Will Smith hid within the legal loophole. Will Smith has no moral compass. She has zero respect for him. Sad, loveless marriage. I guess there's too much money involved to divorce. Actually, I think he loves her. She's not in love with him. He should find someone else or be by himself. And here's the thing, right? This could very well actually be the case in this scenario where Will Smith might in fact really love Jada Pinkett Smith, but it's pretty obvious that Jada Pinkett Smith does not love Will Smith the same way, right? Because if you're looking for other people to sleep with, you are more than likely not interested in your partner, right? So Will made a terrible mistake and there's no excuse. However, I've never heard a bad thing about him before. There's no pattern of violence. Jada has too much control over him. He's henpecked. He would be better off separating from her. He deserves better and he could clearly get better than her. Blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, this detracts distracts attention away from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. By the way, whatever happened to the Syrian civil war, it is still ongoing but rarely mentioned. Perhaps this is the fate of the aforementioned conflict. I hope not. Are you for real? The woman has alopecia and you want to talk about Russians killing Ukrainians? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, can she emasculate this guy any further? How many ways can she say, I don't love you, Will Smith? I don't think she is so much emasculating him as she is showing the kind of person she is. This reflects more poorly on her. At this point, he's emasculating himself. Time to fly, Will. Jada could have stopped Will from slapping Rock. She has total control over him. It's a very unhealthy relationship to say the least. I actually feel sorry for Will. He deserves better. I don't feel sorry for him at all. He deserves everything he gets, the disrespect, mockery, and disgust. He's an evil, unethical, heartless man, and he is paired with his equal. That's no mistake. Karma, the way he treated his co-worker and destroyed her career in life is apprehensible. The way he mistreated Paul Rodriguez is unconscionable, unconscionable. And there are many, many more who Will Smith has been horrible to. He is now isn't in good with the female version of himself, Karma. Sweet lord. Let's see. And the more of the story, don't sleep around before you find your true love and get married. 
The moral of the story is don't wear a red coat when taking lunch to your grandma. See, here's the thing, right? You know, the way that I view this in this terms of marriage, this marriage has basically gotten to the point where um, it seems like the best course of action is to divorce, leave, and just not really be involved with each other like romantically at all. If you want to learn how to get a debt, go to 40 com. If you like this sort of news commentary, hit the like button and subscribe for more.